Hi, hello, namaskara. So today we will learn about the scientific notation which is a topic of chemistry of 11th standard or the first PUC of the CBSC syllabus. I am M. Satish Bajjeli. I am here to help you in understanding the scientific notation. So in the study of the numerical data in the chemistry, we come across very large or a very small numbers. So this is because chemistry deals with the atoms and the molecules which are very small in size. Hence, there may be a very large number of atoms or molecules in a small amount of substance, whereas the masses of the atoms and the molecules in the gram or the kg are extremely small. For example, Avogadro number of particles will be written as 602 to 00, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. It is very cumbersome to remember. So if you take a mass of an hydrogen atom, we write 0. Point almost 2023 20, zeros 166 gram. So similarly, the Planck's constant, the speed of the light, the charges and the particles involve the numbers of the these magnitudes which I have showing on the board. It is very tedious to write down such numbers in an ordinary way. So in addition, it offers a real challenge to do simple mathematical operation of additions, subtractions, multiplication or division of such numbers. So this problem is solved by using scientific notation for such numbers. So let us understand about the scientific no notation. So extremely large numbers or extremely small numbers can be expressed using scientific notation. Scientific notation is also called exponential notation which is represented as capital N into 10 to the power of small n. You can see on the board capital N into 10 to the power of small n where small n is an integer which is called exponent. Value of n is either positive or the negative. Capital N is the coefficient. It is a number with a single non-zero digit. It is called digit term. The values of n varies between 1.00 to 9.999. So capital N represents the number of significant figures. So let us take an example. You express 246.802 in the scientific notation. How to express? The answer will be 2.46802 into 10 to the power of 2. You have to observe here exponent, nothing but a power, the small n is equal to 2 and the coefficient capital N is equal to 2.46802. Here we have to note down that the decimal point is moved to the left until there is only one non-zero digit before the decimal point. If the decimal point is moved x places, to the left, the exponent will be small n is equal to small x. Let us take example number 2. Express 0 0.00016 in the scientific notation. So when you express it as scientific notation, the answer will be 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 4. Here what we have to note is the decimal point is moved to the right until there is only one non-zero digit before the decimal point. If the decimal point is moved y places, the exponent value small n is equal to y. Here you can observe uh, which I have given in a rectangular box in a clear, the capital N is the number with a single non-zero digit into 10 to the power of the small n. The small n is the number of places of decimal point was moved. The small n will be a positive value if the decimal point is moved to the left and the small one value will be a negative if the decimal point is moved to the right. So let us see how the scientific notation can be used in the mathematical operations. So what are the math mathematical operations? Either it's say addition, subtraction, multiplication or the division. To multiply two numbers, the first we should add the exponents, then we should multiply the coefficients. For example, 10 to the power of x into 10 to the power of y. 
here the exponents are x and the y so we have to keep the coefficient as n 10 and x and y should be added so it is equal to 10 to the power of x plus y in the other case if you want to divide two numbers first we have to subtract the exponents then multiply the coefficients for example 10 to the power of x divided by 10 to the power of y which is equal to 10 to the power of x minus y where x is on to the numerator and y is in the denominator it has to be taken on to the top let us take an example so in this example 9.8 into 10 to the power of minus 2 which is multiplied with 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 so first you take the coefficient separately and the exponent separately so 9.8 into 2.5 into 10 to the power of exponents minus 2 plus minus 6 so minus 2 plus minus 6 it comes to minus 8 so 9.8 into 2.5 it comes to 24.50 into 10 to the power of minus 8 so since we want to express this value into a scientific notation the one digit moves to the left so it comes to 2.450 into 10 to the power of minus 7 let us take one more example for the division so 2.7 into 10 to the power of minus 3 divided by 5.5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 here again you take the exponents onto the one side and the coefficient so 2.7 divided by 5.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 minus 4 because numerator exponent should be subtracted with the uh, denominator exponent so the values will be 0 0.4909 into 10 to the power of minus 7 now you convert this into scientific number so it comes to 4.909 into 10 to the power of minus 8 then coming to the other mathematical operations like addition and the subtraction so to add or subtract the numbers in the scientific notation the exponent n must be the same in both the numbers if the exponent is not the same in the both the numbers it has to be made same before adding or subtracting change the lower exponent by changing the decimal point to match the highest exponent here is the point where you have to remember you should change the lowest exponent by changing the decimal point either to the left or right to match the highest exponent so it takes the exponential factor common and then add or subtract the coefficient so remember before adding or subtracting scientific number it is important to make both the numbers to the same power of 10 for example 6.65 into 10 to the power of 4 plus 8.5 9 5 into 10 to the power of 3 here the the one side exponent is a 4 otherwise exponent is a 3 the both are different lower exponent value is a 3 so now we have to match we have to increase the exponent value 3 to the 4 6.65 into 10 to the power of 4 into you see the decimal point is moved to the left so it becomes 0 0.895 into 10 to the power of 4 now the exponent value on the either values are the same so take the exponent value as a common and you can add the values 6.65 plus 0.985 into 10 to the power of 4 then the answer will be 7.545 into 10 to the power of 4 okay let us take example number 2 which explains about subtraction so 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 minus 4.8 into 10 to the power of minus 3 again we have to match the exponent on the either side 2.5 into 10 to the power of minus 2 minus 0 0.48 into 10 to the power of minus 2 now you take the common exponential factor outside so you can subtract the coefficients 2.5 minus 0 0.48 into 10 to the power of minus 2 then when you convert that into the scientific number we'll get the value 2.02 into 10 to the power of minus 2 you can observe here on the board so now let us express the following in the scientific notation you take this values take this number 0 
8008 500.0 6.0012 this number you try to express and convert into scientific numbers subscribe this channel to get the notification related to videos on the academics concepts related to 10th standard 11th 12th neat je and higher educations and the personality development motivational talk and many more forget not to subscribe this channel i am satish bajeli i am here to help you all